Hey everybody, uh, Dave Dees, is our class with Dave Dees here, and I'm going to be recording for you today a lesson that was requested by one of my students, or one of my followers online, I actually at this point I don't know if it was a student or not, because it started to get to the point where people that I don't even know are following the channel, we really appreciate that here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started drawing this Mario. I decided to go on uh, an image search and see if I could find a Mario that maybe I didn't know as well as the Marios that I knew when I was growing up. And I found one, I think it's from a particular game, I'm sure somebody can post in the comments below which exact game that this version of Mario is from, but I'm going to draw him, I'm going to draw him nice and quick, and I am going to start with the eyes like I always do. I start with the first eye, and then I take the second eye, and I know that it connects to the nose, so I draw that curved line on the bottom and I make it a little smaller because it's further away. That's called foreshortening. Go around. Boop, boop, boop. I know this part of his nose. They do always draw Mario with a big nose. He comes back and he has the mustache. Comes down just like some loops. You can't really draw it wrong. You can't and it's difficult to try and copy somebody's just kind of a curvy line like that exactly. So I just really don't sweat it. I just draw a curvy line and I trust myself that it's good enough for me. Got the ear back here. They always give him a pretty big ear, especially this version has a big ear. Connects to his hair. They have a nice, simple, it reminds me of like an old, um, like a Disney cartoon where if you draw it, with your, if you're actually sitting there holding the pen and drawing it, you can feel the way that they drew one thing and it connected into the next thing. Um, it's good. It reminds me of like when people drew things with their hands rather than their computers, like I do. Meaning that I draw stuff with my hands, not with my computer. Because I'm not ready for that yet. I'm not ready to go full computer. I already record myself drawing with my hands using a computer and a bunch of stuff. That's good enough for me. An old man like me, that's pretty much I've already traveled to the future. Can't forget the M. Don't want people thinking that I made some sort of disguised Wario here that gotta get his arm connecting so that it looks like it goes up to hit his hand up there. Looks pretty good. Take a little of this down here. So that, there we go. He's got his little bib for his overalls. And then this particular version has a big, round belly. Big buttons on here. And again, one of the buttons is bigger than the other one, because the other one's further back in space. And I stopped this here, because this is where I'm planning on putting the hand, somewhere around here. I think I'm going to throw that in now. He has kind of the same glove on, usually, that Mickey Mouse does, interestingly enough, after I said that, about where he has the two little things on the back side of it usually. He's got a foot that comes out this way, it curves up and it curves down. No real extreme curves, it's really a nice smooth simple shoe and there's not really a lot of sharp edges anywhere in here. It's nice and smooth. I'm guessing this is probably a Mario that's targeted to younger audiences. Again, feel free to comment below about uh, what the heck Mario that this is. I would love for someone to tell me. And now all I have is just this kind of oval that gets a little skinnier. See, it's fatter down here and skinnier back here. Again, it's going back in space. That's called foreshortening. If I'm teaching you one thing in this video, other than how to draw Mario, it's foreshortening. And probably also who all the best bad guys are if you look at my collection of pops back here. And I just have to give him the last little loop de do and there we go. You know what? If I already colored my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color this mustache too. He does not look like right with a white mustache. Wow, while I was looking for images, you would not have believed what I saw. And it scared me, like most things do, uh, on the internet. And that was, they had pictures of Mario with his mustache shaved off. And it's just not right. Just not right, Mario. You can't do that. And you'll see that this drawing kind of comes together as I color in this mustache and get it more solid. That's why I wanted to do it. It really starts looking a little more. We'll go ahead and get his black hair here, too. It really starts looking more like the guy that I've always known. Once I get a couple of these major sections of black in, 
again i don't have to i don't have to fill it all in or anything like that and you see that his hand's a little crazy up at the top but this is his wrist the part the wrist part of his glove like this and um comes up here and then his hand comes over and curves over so i think i got it right i got it the way that it looks in my visual reference so i'm not going to question it i always choose my visual reference by something that initially looks nice to me and then if it looked nice to me and I draw it exactly the right way, then it should look nice to someone else. And if I'm finding problems, I'm doing what an artist almost always does, which is finding way more problems with my own artwork than I would be able to find with somebody else's artwork. But you know what I got to do now? I got to sign it, just like an artist does, and I got to date it. I do that pretty much for myself. Also, lots of artists do that, but I want to be able to remember when I made all these things. Anyway, I hope you really liked it. I hope you comment below and tell me what the heck game this guy's from, because I don't feel like trying to Google him, search him again, figure it out, and backtrack my research. And uh, give me some more ideas, because all I have left on my suggestions, I think, is Sonic the Hedgehog, which I should put out next week. And then after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and need some more ideas from you guys. Don't be freaked out by this thing down here in the corner. I'm not being attacked by aliens. This is my mouse. I just accidentally slid it on the screen. It's here. It's gone. It's here. It's gone. I also have a keyboard. It's here. It's gone my nice little setup. All right, uh, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not, turn on notifications so you can see when I do this, and I'm going to start going live sometime soon, so you're definitely going to want to have notifications on for that so you can catch me. I don't think at the beginning that I'm going to be telling anybody when I'm coming. I'm just going to come on, and if the dedicated fans with that little bell click get to have the experience of seeing me live, and everybody else can just catch the video on the flip side. So thank you very much for checking it out. I hope you keep doing it, and I hope you keep trying to learn as much as you can about art.